Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 Work and today we got a repossession of a Chevy pickup and he's supposed to be leaving for work here around 8 and as you can tell it snowed again so all of the trucks are inside the shop got the two pl or three plow trucks on the far right side and then the four personal kind of work trucks are in on the left in the but we're actually going to be taking the F450 out. I forgot to open the garage door. But as you can tell, it is really dark and it's only 7 o'clock in the morning. So it's kind of crazy that we still got this. It's still this dark. I don't think it starts getting light out until like 8 or something, it says. All right, let's just get on out of here. Gosh. I don't think they ever plowed these roads and... Now that it's snowed even more, it doesn't help. You would think they'd have to come out here and at least attempt to plow these roads, but nope. Alright, let's just get going. No one's out yet, it looks like. Oh well. Okay, we'll just... I think we should be able to fit it up on the GMC deck, so we're gonna just get in the GMC and go. And hope that for the good... But I'm not sure if it will, but we may have to come back to the shop. Which I'm hoping we don't because it is almost 8 o'clock and that's usually when he gets up to... Is there no lights in here? There isn't, is there? Okay then. Okay. So we have some information on this. It is a red Chevy step uh, side pickup and I think they said they have it has wood side on the bed like above the bed rail to keep uh, more stuff in that's what they said we're not sure if that's still on it or not and then they, we also got information about that he always just parks it on the I think it's the west side of his house but I'm not 100% sure but he parks it on the side of his house, so we should be able to just kind of go out, hook it up. And we might just use the boom, see if we can get it on the boom, and then uh, tow it down the street or something. And then load it up on the deck, which if we can, I'm going to do that, since it'll be quicker and easier to get it out of there that way. Then lifting the bed up, tilting it, and all that, so all we have to do is move that boom out, and boom shakalaka, we got it. Hopefully that'll work, I'm not sure, but we're gonna hopefully be there soon. They don't live too far away from us, which is also really good, so hopefully we can get this done before 7.30, which is, that's what we've heard he wakes up to get ready for work, so... If we can get it done before that, it'll help us a ton just to get it out of there before 7.30 so we don't have to worry about him awake and messing with it and looking out and making sure his truck is still there or not. So hopefully he's asleep still by the time we get there, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we only got about 10 minutes until he's supposed to wake up, they say like people that work with him and stuff I guess All right, I think he actually lives on the west side of town here so we'll just go up here hopefully stop alright if we can I'm gonna bring it to this best western to if we can hook it up that way alright let's just see heck why are those like that I wonder okay we're gonna just kind of park over here real quick and walk down there I think that's his truck right there but I can't tell if there's any lights on in the house doesn't look like it so we might be good to go it's kind of walking down the street when it's 23 degrees out for Monday morning or Monday, or not Monday, morning scroll, stroll. Yeah, it looks like the, there's no one 
Oh, wait, yeah. All right, so here's the truck. It's a Chevy. Yep, it does got the sides that they wanted. All right, we're going to actually leave all of, our, all of our lights off. I can't talk today. But we're going to leave lights off. Try to back down the street and load it that way. All right. Boom out and lower it kind of. All right, and now... This is dangerous of us backing uh, down the street in the dark with no lights on. So, I would not recommend trying this. But it's what we gotta do to get the job done today. Okay, I gotta remember. I think it's C. Come on. Oh, is it not gonna connect? I know it does not like to connect to things, usually. Okay, the bed. No. Okay. Alright, we got it. I need a screenshot. Hang on. Okay, I got my screenshot. I had to use my flashlight, but it'll work. All right, we're gonna try to get down to that best western to load this up on the deck because I don't want to pull it like this all the way down. Hopefully this is a street right here. Not really sure. But it looks like we got out of there in time without having too much of a problem. I don't know if this is a street. It's not, is it? Darn it. Oh well. We'll just drop it here, actually. Okay. Bring that in. Alright, we'll just load it here. Because we're far enough away. Alright, keys were in it. Which is always helpful. I don't know who would leave their keys in their truck overnight, because I know I wouldn't. Alright, now let's just get on out of here. Look at me thinking this was a street here, which it's really not. Oh well, it gave us an opportunity to load this up. Alright, let's get on out of here now. Hopefully. Alright, and we're going to just pull this into the shop, not unload it, because we'll just leave it up on the deck and deal with it later on. And supposedly he works somewhere over in our area. We were notified of that by the uh, company that loaned this out to him, or was had the le lease on it. So, oh. So... Uh, they said you can either get it now or wait until night or he goes to work and you can get it then. So I was like, I'll just go get it while he's not at work or when he's at home and not at work because there could be a chance he could know, hey, these people down the street have a tow company and there's a chance they do repossessions and I don't want that to happen and him, him try to break into our shop and get our try to get it back so we're gonna leave it on there take the keys out take them to our house actually and then back this into a corner or somewhere that he'll have to either start our truck to move it or pull our truck out of the way to move it so if he does either or Oh well, I guess he's got his truck back, which I don't really want him to, because that would be really bad since this is our first time working with this financial company, and I don't want him to have a bad reputation of me about this, so we'll just kind of lock it up the best we could and let them know we got it and all that stuff. Look, we might even get back to the shop before it's 7.30. Oh, well, that'll help us a lot out, or help us a lot. 
because there's a chance he won't wake up until 7.30 and if we have this already at home and locked up, he won't even know we have it. Well, he shouldn't. Unless someone around here that he works with is driving to work or something and saw it and decides, hey, I know where your car is, let's go get it kind of thing. But from what I've heard from everyone he works with, he's not very likable from everyone that he works with. He's kind of like the person that everyone hates because he's a jerk to everyone, I guess. That's what I've heard. So, if it's true or not, not really our business to worry about. So, we'll just pull it on in here. Turn on. What the heck? That's why it does that. Okay, I never noticed that. Every time I get out and I accidentally hit the scroll wheel, it turns on the uh, uh, pulls the chainsaw out. Alright, we'll just turn it out and that is going to be it for me today. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching and goodbye.